Welcome to another episode of the Photography Horde and in this episode we're going to be covering this Fujifilm camera. You've probably seen it in a um, in another video of mine, an earlier video. It feels all on about mode dials. But the reason I've got it out today is, or tonight rather, is because I haven't used this camera in about four years. I got it when I first got into photography. Got it for about £3 from a charity shop. Yeah, that's, that's a story for another day. Haven't used it since I got the camera I'm filming this on which is um, Sony RX100. Find the link in the description down below, down there, underneath my desk. 12 megapixels, all the modes. It's got all the manual modes, but I never used them. Uh, it had 720p video, which, to be honest, isn't that great today. And uh, it's got uh, 15 times Fugin on hands, which I thought had gone mouldy at first, but it's yeah, I had to um, rescue this out of a bag, which had gone mouldy, unfortunately. Probably can clear it up though, but I, I can't be bothered at the moment. I haven't used this thing since uh, I think about December 2017 when I got the Sony camera. I see some corrosion on a screw there, sort of humidity. Hopefully this thing will still work. This is a bit like one of those videos where they start up a car that's been garaged for about 20 years. And this is a, a new concept. I mean, I haven't seen this with a camera before. And I just, I really just hope it works because, um, well, to be honest, it'll be a disappointment. But this was my first sort of straight photojournalism cam that I used for everyday photography. As we go over it I'll tell you a few reasons why I only use this thing for a few months and then um, ditched it for Sony. So without further ado let's put the um, put the batteries in this thing. Yes it takes double A's we've got some here. Four double A's to be um, precise make sure they're in the right way up. Oh yeah different brand Kodak. Yeah they say you shouldn't mix batteries but it's not as if they're going to be in here for like four years. Luckily I had the uh, had the common sense to remove the batteries out of this before I shelved it. Not going to bother about the SD card. There's some internal storage though. It's, um, yeah, you'll see it in a minute. Let's just take my hands cap off. Okay, before I turn it on, I just want to talk about, talk about this camera for... Um, a few minutes. I got this when I first got into photography. There was this thrift shop I frequented and I got all these old film cameras from and things like that. And old cameras. But one day they said they had this interesting camera in. This camera I might be interested in. They said it was some sort of SLI. It wasn't. It was this thing. Which I saw on the way in but I thought it was something for store use. So I didn't ask them about it. But you know, how much do you want to pay for it? You have to negotiate this. You know, could give it away. You know, raffle or something. But eventually, the people there who I knew really well actually offered it to me for three pounds. So, uh, yeah, three pounds exchanged hands for this. I had a 1D Mark IV, do all my money on that for sports work, but I needed something more height for street work, and this was perfect. Yeah, let's just hope this works. Oh, yeah, it's got an OVF, I'll be saying that in a minute. So, three, two, one. Hell yeah, what have we got here? It's, it's thinks, it thinks it's 2010. Come on, wake up. It's 2021. Internal memory is full. Insert a new card. Your viewfinder works. Yeah, you probably can't see it. Not the best OVF in the world though. It works, which is quite amazing. Oh, I thought this thing would have like, gone uh, mouldy inside or more the uh, humidity, but it hasn't. Yeah. Just give me a second to refocus this. There you go, that's be better. Yeah, zoom working there. Oh, I've left it in... I've left it in... Um, I've left it in Fuji Ooh. black and white mode. It's Fuji Chrome, Fuji Standard. I shot a lot of black and white on this thing, which is probably why. But I'm, I'm just going to get the uh, get the camera out of view in a minute. For a minute, just to find something. Go. So the um, the people who worked at the thrift shop were so nice. They actually uh, had some double A's on hand to test it with. Okay. This is the only one I can show because um, a lot of them have uh, pictures of their faces and things. So like this doll, which... Um, yeah, they probably sold like four years ago now. There's other stuff on the internal storage too, but I can't get it off. It uses some sort of weird cable I don't have. Now, as for why I stopped using this thing, it wasn't that bad. This is a very capable camera for a beginner. 
12 megapixel, it's got manual mode, 720p video recording, which is movie. Yeah, internal memory is full, I know. The menu. I'm trying to say it's 720p, but I haven't used this thing in a while. But it's there, and I got lots of videos on this thing that I wouldn't have otherwise got. And the 15 times zoom was quite fun to play with, even though it's quite soft and dark. The reason why I stopped using this thing is because of the fact it used four AA batteries. And I got about um, a week or two out of everyday use before those double A's died, even with the good Duracell. It was charging me a fortune in Duracell batteries, so in the end, I had to get rid of it. I'd stopped using it, I got I got the Sony camera, which I'm using to record this now. It needs a service though, but it's been absolutely thrown. But there was a time when I used this thing. It got some amazing videos I've taken, I've got some amazing photos and um, just like I can't really let go. Oh, yeah, there's a sense cap too, which um, is tethered to the camera. But if it wasn't for this camera, I wouldn't have got lots of amazing shots and videos that I've um, always had. So it has earned its place. In... I'll be cleaning up the bag. Luckily, even hands didn't go mouldy. I saw what might have been mould on it, but it just turned out to be some sort of dirt that wiped off easy with a cloth. So there's the story for Hedgeund. You heard it of the three pound camera that hadn't been used in almost four years. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm currently, um, well, I'm, I'm currently working on better studio yeah. stuff. I, I've, I also did this video to test some new camera settings, manual focus, manual expose, all that. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Be worrying, I've just been uh, taking everything down, including this uh, light I've been using. Unplugged it from the USB. It smells like something's been burning in it, so, that's what I get for using some cheap Chinese studio height.